What is up everyone, on this video I'll be showing you how to use Chiaki for your Steam Deck and this is a great way to stream all of your PS5 games seamlessly through your network and you can also set this up online as well. I'm just going to show you the simple way of setting this up so you can stream your PS5 at home. This app is formerly known as Chiaki for Deck but it's now updated to Chiaki-NG and I've been using this quite a lot recently, um, being able to play PS5 games upstairs or in the bed and it just works seamlessly. To get this up and running, all you need is a Steam Deck, doesn't matter which model, PS5 and a decent router that will output at least 5G Wi-Fi. You can use a wireless or Bluetooth mouse or keyboard for your Steam Deck just to make set up a little bit easier but for me I'm just gonna use the factual keyboard so to get started head over to your Steam Deck and if you're on Steam mode then all you have to do is press power and go on to switch to desktop mode once you're on desktop mode click on application launcher find system click on discover and from here you'll be able to search Chiaki just type in Chiaki it should just come up as Chiaki-ng and that's the one that you want Click on install, let it do its thing, and then launch the Chiaki NG application. So once it's launched, um, as you can see on mine it says I have a PS4 registered, which um, I did this a long time ago. Um, yours shouldn't come up with anything, um, so don't worry about that, we're going to set one up in a second. So right now it's asking me to add official Steam artwork and controller layout, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Um, so I'm just going to keep the name as it is and press create and it's created a uh, shortcut I believe It's asking me to restart the uh, Chiaki app um, And then this bit where it says remote play via PSN. I'm just gonna click do that later So right now just head over to the cogwheel on the top right and click on settings We don't really need to change anything here um, but there are some adjustments that we can make and if there's anything else that you want to experiment or change yourself then all of it's here. So the Steam Deck and Chiaki does support the PS5 Rumble Haptics and you can change the sensitivity where it says Rumble Haptics on the controller settings. Um, it's not perfect but it does give you that kind of PS5 DualSense 5 feel to Steam Deck, although um, I'm using the LCD Steam Deck where the haptics are not brilliant anyway. So head over to the video settings and from here we can change the hardware decoder. I'm just going to keep it on auto and I'm going to change the resolution, uh, choose a custom resolution because using a 720p uh, custom resolution will save on bandwidth, although the quality might be slightly less. It, it isn't that noticeable um, using the Steam Deck because of the small screen. If you don't really have a great Wi-Fi router, then um, a 720p will be just fine. If you have a much stronger and more expensive router that can tolerate more bandwidth, then I would choose a higher resolution. The next settings we're going to take a look at is the streaming settings. And for our local connection, we can um, just but this is default 1080p. The remote will be 720p, so less, slightly less. So this all depends on your internet connection. Um, FPS, keep that as 60. And the bit rate, you can mess around with this. So this setting here, it all depends on what kind of uh, router that you have. If you have a really good one, then you can probably have more of a higher bit rate set in here. But Sort of the average would be like 20 megabytes per second I would go for for a stable connection but if it's still quite choppy you can set this down a bit so this all depends on what kind of setup you got. A fast internet connection will make remote streaming a lot more seamless and less laggy so it all kind of factors in to what kind of setup that you have. If you have like a 5 gigahertz router then you can probably set this to like 30 megabytes per second um, see how that goes but um, I'm gonna keep this like around 20 
bear in mind that my PS5 is um, connected via the Ethernet cable. So just mess around with this, especially if you're playing remotely. Change the values, lower it if you need to. Keep the codec as H.265 default. Unless you have a PS5 Pro, you can probably set it to the HDR mode. And here we have our audio settings, which mostly you don't need to touch, just keep it as default. The next step is to register our PS5 console. So click on consoles and click on register console. So we need a couple of details here to get this working. What we need is our PSN account ID. So we need the name of that. We also need the remote play pin from your PS5. So to find out what your PSN username is, all you have to do is go onto your PS5 and where your name is, it should be the second one at the bottom. So for me, you see where the cat is, that is my PSN username. So back onto the Steam Deck and you need to go onto this website called psn.flipscreen.games and this is where you enter your PSN username. So remember, jot it down what your PSN uh, username was. Submit your username and you should have a encoded ID for Chiaki and that's the number that we need to copy and paste into our Chiaki app. So click copy and once you're back into register console where it says PSN account ID you want to left click and paste your account ID there. So next we need the console pin so we need to head back on to our PS5 we need to go onto settings and find system, find remote play, you need to enable remote play, head over to pair device. Once you click on that it will instantly give you an 8 digit pin which will be the console pin for remote play in Chiaki. You do only have like a few minutes to do this so try not to leave this screen for too long else you will have to generate a new remote play pin. So once you have the pin just make sure to enter it in where it says remote play pin on your Steam Deck. Hit enter and it should just instantly register your console and that should be it. Your console should be registered. If you do have an error then it's most likely that you are not connected to the same network so make sure your Steam Deck and your PS5 um, let's say if you have a 5G Wi-Fi connection make sure your Steam Deck is connected to that 5G as well as your PS5 so if you do come across where it doesn't register then um, it could be the, the the console pin could be incorrect it could have uh, expired as well but I do recommend just making sure you're connected on the same network on the same name as well um, I am connected through Ethernet like I said before um, so I don't need to worry about that if you are connected via Wi-Fi then that's something that you need to uh, watch out for the cool thing about Chiaki is that once you are um, streaming the PS5 when you exit the app it can actually um, turn your PS5 into uh, sleep mode or rest mode so that's something very handy if um, you're in a different room and you just want to um, turn off your console, you can do that with your Steam Deck. The only issue is, once you want to turn your PS5 on, the Chiaki app doesn't display the PS5, so we do need to change some settings on the PS5 console. So if you head back onto the uh, system settings, click on system and click on power saving, click on features available in rest mode, and we want to click on stay connected to the internet enable turning on ps5 from network so while in rest mode you can turn on your ps5 remotely using playstation 5 portal or remote play as long as your ps5 is in rest mode then you can turn on your ps5 using the steam deck if you're like upstairs having a number two in the toilet if you're outside of your home and nowhere near your ps5 to turn it on as long as it's amber you can um, just enable your PS5 to turn on and start playing remotely or locally at home wherever you are and you can turn it off once you're done with Chiaki so very versatile and very easy setup so there's a couple of things to make Chiaki work using the main steam mode um, to exit off it you just need to click on the X or minimize it 
and we need to open up Steam. Click on add a Steam game and you want to add a non-Steam game. Find Jackie-ng, add selected programs. Now Jackie should be on your Steam library now, so once you boot back up onto the normal Steam mode, you should be able to find it under non-Steam games. The next step is totally optional, you can do this if you want to, but what I'm going to do is just find some banners for Chiaki and a logo as well, and I'm going to download the banner and logo and attach it to the uh, Steam library. So all you have to do is go back to your library, right click and set banner and logo and just attach the pictures that you downloaded. Could be any pictures, it's up to you. I'm just using the official logo for Chiaki, just so it looks prettier when you're on Steam mode. So there we go, that's what it should look like once you're in the library of the Steam. Just makes it stand out a bit more. All we have to do now is head back onto gaming mode. Once in gaming mode, go onto your library and it should be under non-steam games. So press R1 until you find non-steam games. I do have way too many ROMs and um, it's a bit messy, but um, it's definitely under non-steam games. So after sifting through a bunch of my ROMs, I finally found it and there isn't like a um, front cover for it, but the banner and logo is there. And if you're like me and you've got like a bunch of ROMs on your non-steam game library, then you can add Chiaki to favorites just makes it easier to find it and launch it. As you can see the PS5 is already registered and showing up. Once I click it, it turns on my PS5 from rest mode. When you're fully connected um, just press the Steam menu button and what we need to do is go on to controller settings. So make sure you hover over Chiaki NG, click on controller settings. From here you can search for community um, custom layouts. I find that the G Money Chiaki one, Chiaki for deck plus mic, seems to work fine. I mean, this is the most up to date um, Chiaki version, so that should be the default. However, if you want to um, change or if you don't like the, um, the layout of this controller, you can just search community layouts at the top, and there's like a bunch of different um, pre made uh, controller layouts. For your Steam Deck, so just I mean, you can kind of you can figure out which one you prefer. But I'm sticking with what's already on the default one, which is the Chiaki for Deck controller layout. Another cool thing about this controller layout is that it enables the gyro settings as well, so you can use gyro controls if you want to. So that's pretty much it. You're good to go with playing your PS5 locally or remotely using your Steam Deck. I haven't really covered much of the remote options or remote play settings. Um, that's probably something for a different tutorial, but this is mainly if you want to set one up locally. And um, I'm just going to show you what the latency is. I know I'm, I'm directly next to the uh, Wi-Fi router, but um, this is what it looks like when you stream it on your Steam Deck. It's a very smooth experience and I'm having a blast you know I, I recently got this PS5 so I'm having a blast playing uh, mostly playing Rebirth and uh, a bit of Claire Obscure but yeah I'm just gonna let this video go on if this video has helped you then please give it a like and subscribe if you do have any questions then just comment down below and I'll try and help you out this uh, brings new life to my Steam Deck because I only mainly used it for emulation, nothing else really. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again on another video. We won't hold back.